Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke and as you can see, we're going down some tight roads. <laughs> we got to go to a building site, um, which is like literally in a housing estate. We're only allowed two in at a time. We've got to rely on CVs to uh, communicate with other drivers to get in and out of this site because it's, uh, like I said, it's not, not a lot of space and uh, yeah, you just got to be careful. So <laughs> we're literally driving into a housing estate. Look. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then what we're doing with this is we're taking it back to Fruxton. So in this video, you are going to see today, me taking this back to Fruxton. And then uh, obviously I'm going to be doing something tomorrow, do something the day after as well. So hopefully we get some, uh, some variety in it. But uh, here's the site here, look. One of our drivers is already in. So we've just got to find out what this driver's doing. Ah. Oh. This site is unbelievable. Um, you'll find out why <laughs> in a bit. But uh, this morning I got, we had to, if I got to go past him, I think he's parked up, isn't he? He must be parked up, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to go past him. So I got here at eight o'clock this morning for my first load and didn't leave until 20 to 10. That's how long I was here for. Is he, um, is he going to let me through? I don't know what he's doing. The lorry driver on the right of me is shaking his head because of this guy. What are you doing? Get out of the way then. <laughs> he's telling me to come forward, but he's like in my way. Yeah, this site is just really annoying. It's a pain in the ass. Excuse my French. <laughs> that bloke there with the jet wash, that's one of the reasons why it's so annoying. Here's our driver coming out now, look. There you go, mate. All yours. Um, yeah, so with this site, we've got to get our wheels washed on the way out. So um, it takes five minutes to get loaded, less than, but it takes 15 minutes to get your wheels washed. They just take forever. It's really annoying. I don't know why, but um, yeah, they did just take so long to actually wash the wheels. Right, is he clear? Yeah. What well, you reckon, give him a call uh, now when I get loaded. Yeah, all right, mate, there was. So we're just, uh, just discussing what we're gonna do. Um, we were down for five today, and this is only the third one because of the um, annoyance basically of having to queue to get in queue to get out things happening wheel washing i understand you've got to get your wheels washed but 15 minutes to get your wheels washed is a long time Yeah, all right, mate, no worries. Yeah, if you've done it that many times, you know best, don't you? <laughs> all right, no worries. So, um, yeah, it's just very tight site. Down for five. This is actually only the third one today. And it's because just waiting so long to get in, waiting so long to get out. Oh, that just, that just reminded me, I need to uh, keep these pink slips. What time is it? Cool. Yeah, we've, um, like I got here five minutes ago, technically, because I was at the top of the road, I had to wait until someone come out so I could get in. So, uh, yeah, it's just annoying. There's, I think there's maybe too many drivers on this one today. Um, if there was like one driver less, Maybe we wouldn't have to wait so much, but um, as as it goes, we just that's just the way it is. So yeah, put the time down, and uh, yeah, we've got ten ton on now. Getting loaded isn't the problem; it's it's with the wheel wash. That's what the problem is. You'll see it in a minute. He just he's not fast, and actually, 
the bloke who's in front of me he's got to get his wheels done first so he's going to be 15 minutes and then I've got to wait behind him so yeah not the best sight I'm not stressing about it it's, don't bother me how many runs I do whether it's 3 or 5 I just do what I can do do you know what I mean but it must be frustrating for the office who you know they schedule you so many runs because that is how many you should be doing um, but because of the site, you can't, so... I like to achieve my targets, but I'm, uh, It's not my fault at the end of the day, so... Nothing I can do about it, I'm not going to stress about it. <laughs> if I was being delayed because it was my fault, then I'd be worried, but... In this case, I'm not. Right, we've got a 17 ton on. This could be the last one. It is. There we go. Bucket down, he's flattening it out. And he's honked his horn. Brilliant! So yeah, that took what? Three minutes to get loaded. It don't take long to get load. The problem is the wheel wash. That is the problem. Yeah, the other driver's already there. You... <laughs> uh, so I just got to wait here because if one of our other drivers turns up, they can pass and then he, he can come in and go up there, the other driver coming in, and then I can go out, which is what we just did just now. So, but yeah, let me just show you, I don't know if you can see, but he's over there getting his wheels washed just uh, behind that digger. There's a bloke over there washing it. It's just really annoying that it just, just takes so long. I don't, I don't like waiting around. I like keep moving. I mean, I just want to keep going, but, uh, but I can. <sighs> right, we are... Uh, we're now getting loaded, uh, sorry, getting loaded. We're now getting our wheels washed. Ugh. Hello. Hello, I'm getting my wheels washed. <laughs> he, um, bless him, he's doing a good job. Bless him. Um, but I've got eight wheels that need doing, so it's not a quick process, not for him. I think he's getting quicker, but the, prob the problem we've got, I don't know if you can see on the front camera, but he's got a leak in his hose and every time he lets go of the hose of the pressure it squirts out there <laughs> so if you keep an eye on it you'll uh, you'll see it squirt up in front of us <laughs> oh dear 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 he's got to sign my ticket as well in a sec so yeah we got here at 13.40 it's now 5 to 2 so we're going to be here for another 5 minutes while he washes my wheels easily and then could squeeze past him again and then what I think one of our trucks is coming down as well so a bit of a nuisance not good not good I think that truck in front of us as well he's gonna need to get his wheels washed maybe not though because it looks like he's only come in there look, and he, he's come he stopped so his wheels don't look too bad whereas I've gone back down there into it look at it all coming out look see <laughs> I've um I've gone into the muddy bit, so that's why I've got to get my wheels washed. I don't think he has to. He, he is soaked. <laughs> I would not want to wash trucks all day. Not a chance. What is he, what's he doing? Is he reversing out or is he coming back down here? I don't know. It's a bit dodgy for him to be reversing out, to be honest, into that residential street. It's not a lot of space. So I expect he's got to come down and spin around, in which case then he'll have to get his wheels washed. Ooh. I want to be him. <laughs> right, I'm just waiting for these wheels to be washed now. Oh, come on! Two o'clock nearly. Oh. Yeah, that, that truck's now gone, look, the one that was in front of us, so we're uh, good to go. He's probably going to get us to roll forward in a minute so he can do the bottoms of our wheels because it's not good enough just doing the, the bits that are visible. You've got to move forward so you can do the other bits as well. <laughs> oh, I just realised my sheet's not on. Better put my sheet on while I'm waiting. Right, I just moved forward a little bit. I don't know if you saw. There's people talking on the CB, so uh, just had to mute that bit. But yeah, um, just rolled forward. So now he's got to go all the way around the truck again, doing the top bits. Oh, one of our drivers is just turning up as well, so he's going to be here in a sec. So might have to pass over here somewhere. Right, he's done the left side, he's coming back round the right side. Oh no, he's dropped his... He's dropped his thing. Are you signing the ticket now, are you? Yes! Two o'clock bang on. That was bang on 20 minutes. 
you've got to take a photograph of, of the truck to say that he's washed the truck <laughs> he, don't, he don't even speak you watch this bye mate Just getting my ticket signed, mate, and I'll be heading out. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where is he? Is he in front? Yeah, he's in front. Don't put your thumb up when you're in front. Well, right, just coming out now, mate. He's done that twice now. Yeah, he's done that twice now. He's put his thumb up, but he's like still in my way. <laughs> it's not good to go when you're there. <laughs> right, let's come on back out of this industrial estate. You only saw the uh, the end of it. Um, so you'll see the whole of it now as I go back out. See, if I come back, it's going to be... Well, kid, our kids are at school. Yeah, kids are at school. My kids are at school. Um, yeah, when I come back, it's going to be about half three, no? Yeah, it'll be about half three by the time I come back, if I come back. So, um, I've got to be careful of kids walking about. And now as well, not just then, but what I'm saying is, at half three, it'll probably be more kids. There's our truck there, look, he's waiting for me to come past. That's why we've got CB, so we can talk to each other and sort of stuff out like that. There you go mate, all yours, there's uh, nobody in there. Right. So left out of here. Yeah, he said he phoned them up. Um, I'll probably just phone them up when I get to Fruxton. Yeah, just, just discussing what time we're getting back to Fruxton. Uh, by the time I tip, it'll be uh, nearly three o'clock and uh, it'd be gone three o'clock for him easily, like quarter past at least. So um, like I said, we were down for five. This is only our third one, so we don't know whether we're coming back for another one or not. Obviously, if they tell me to come back for another one, I will, ain't got a problem with that. Um, but we reckon they're gonna probably say go back to the yard at three o'clock, because it's a good sort of hour drive back to the yard from there, so that's four o'clock. And uh, we start at six-ish. So that's 10 hours and that's normally what we do 10 hours easy life compared to what i used to do <laughs> used to be bloody 12 15 <laughs> and now it's like 10 on the odd occasion 11. Bow, bow, bow. there's one there look you could probably go straight on down mate and uh pull into the left and wait he's just gone in There we go. Right, so we're now going to make our way to Fruxton, get this offloaded, make a phone call, and uh, find out what's going on. You don't really need to know what's going on, unless you want to know. You have to let me know in the comments if you want to know. <laughs> but um, after I've tipped, the next thing you'll see is uh, tomorrow, whatever I'm doing tomorrow. So, let's go to Fruxton. See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, go around here. I don't know if anyone else is going to be here or not. We'll soon find out. Where's he going in the car? In there, on the left. So yeah, here we are back at the Fruxton Race Circuit again. They got the fence up and going on there straight in front of us so uh yeah it's quite cool 
like you, you you guys all know that I love my Merit Sports and it's really nice to know that like I've been responsible for essentially building up a a corner. <laughs> right. Let's get this tipped off. There we go. PTO, tailgate, and lift it up. Undo the sheet at the same time. Just so much quicker doing it this way. Some drivers do the sheet up, or undo the sheet, and then tip. I just like to do it at the same time. And you know when uh, the sheet is all the way because the tone changes slightly in pitch on that no annoying, like high pitch noise. Wait for the bang. No. There we go. Excellente. Okay, so what I need to do now, I'm just going to pull over here a sec. I need to get my paperwork sorted out and then I need to go check the back, make sure it's all nice and tidy, uh, make sure the tailgate is locked and uh, and then crack on with the rest of the day. I'll have to go back and get another load or go back to the yard, I don't know. But right now that's going to be it. I'm going to see you in a minute. It'll be tomorrow and hopefully I'll be somewhere else and not uh, not doing this again today uh, tomorrow because it's a bit of pain in, pain in the bottom. <laughs> right. See you tomorrow. Hello and welcome to another day in this fabulous life of Glass 2 Muckaway business. <laughs> um, we're just getting loaded with, uh, with a load of topsoil and, and we're taking this to taking this to Swindon, uh, specifically Blunsdon, um, into a development site that they got their Red Row homes for delivering to. And then from there, empty, uh, Blunsdon technically, we're just driving two minutes, three minutes away to another place to get reloaded to bring it back here um, where I am now and then I tip that off and then get reloaded again with topsoil and go back and backwards and forwards all day. But two different jobs, two different sites. Um, so that is good, it's not the same site over and over again which is pretty handy. So yeah, we're just getting loaded now with, uh, with topsoil. Um, I'm going to crack on, get this loaded. Ooh. I think that might be it now. Just gonna put, gonna put one more on the front. We we'll just wait for this first, the last one to be put on the front, and then um, we we'll make our way. It's very slippery in this quarry at the moment, very muddy. So we've got to use the wheel wash on the way out. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're now loaded with the topsoil. Uh, I'm just gonna go get weighed. Put the sheet over, make our way to, well we need to get the wheel washed first, and then make our way to uh, to Blunsdon, and uh, I will see you there. See you in a bit. Okay, we're just going past Blunsdon uh, racetrack. There's like a Greyhound track, I think it is there. <coughs> I think it's Greyhound. Not sure. I don't agree with it personally, but you know, never mind. Uh, right, so we've just got to come down here. There were speed watchers down here earlier, making sure everyone was doing the speed limit. De some people were definitely not doing the speed limit. <laughs> so I reckon they're gonna have uh, a notice through the door soon, telling them to slow down. Right, so we wanna turn We want to turn right at this roundabout here. Because straight on there's a weight limit. Abbey Farm. There we go. We're just coming around the corner on the left hand side. We're going to go left and then we need to reverse down a street. Um, there is no banksman on this job. And you've got to watch out for kids. Yeah. 
Ah, one of our drivers are there. Wasn't expecting to see our drivers there. Okay, our truck's just coming out now. Yeah, he's just coming out now. Well, I just got this car in front of me. He's gonna have to wait a second because I've already started my maneuver before we come around. Just waiting for our lorry to come out behind. There we go. As you can hear, hazards are on. Beacons are on. Not that you can hear the beacons. So yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't expecting anyone else to be on this job. <laughs> they weren't here when uh, when I was here earlier. But um, yeah, we've got to drive forward as you just seen, and then reverse all the way back down the street. They got to be careful because earlier there was a kids running around here earlier. Their mother was in one of these houses. I won't say which one. Uh, wasn't looking at the kid at all, and the kid was confused by what I was doing because I drove down here originally, so I had to drive out and then reverse back in and obviously it confused the kid so she didn't know what I was doing I didn't know what she was doing and the mother was not paying attention to her child whatsoever so it was a bit annoying anyway it is a little bit tight getting in this entrance so I'm just going to concentrate on this a sec There we go. The bloke is uh, standing somewhere, so I'm assuming that's where he's going to want it. Let's go aim towards him. There we go. There we go, mate. All right. Right, PTO on, tailgate open, let's lift her up. There we go. Taking my seatbelt off because I'm going to check in a minute to make sure it's all out. Make sure the tailboard's nice and clean. Oh, that was a big bang. Should be clean after that. Jesus. Right, just going to lower the body now. I'm just going to get out and have a quick look, make sure it's all okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of uh, topsoil on the, uh, the ball bar, but that's now off. Excellent. And away we go. Just got to be careful of that post down there. There was a car on the left hand side here earlier as well. making it a little bit tight. There we go. <coughs> Hazards off, beacons off. And we're done. <laughs> so now we've got to go, um, I think it's about four miles away, closer towards the uh, towards the quarry that we're going to. So we're now on our way back essentially to the quarry, uh, to the quarry picking up some, uh, some mud on the way back and uh, making it so then we're not going all the way back empty. So it's just more efficient and we're not wasting fuel going back, do you know what I mean? I mean, we're technically using more, technically using more fuel to get back, but it's not wasted. Like we're actually uh, moving stuff to get there anyway it's going to be interesting when we get to this next job because i have been there already this morning but uh, apparently we've got to go on the other side you'll see when we get there 
I'll, I'll explain it then, but we might get stuck. So, yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> right, let's get moving. I'll see you in like literally five minutes. Okay. We're, uh, we're now heading back. You can see one of our trucks getting loaded there, look now. On the right side of that digger. But that's where I was earlier, and I've just been told to drive in on the left. So I'm not sure. Who's that getting loaded on Ermine Street? No reply. Right, but yeah, I'm on my way there now. Um, someone said something about I might need to go in on the left this time. Ah, sweet. Alright, wait, no worries. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting him there either. <laughs> it's one of those days today where I'm just not expecting anyone anywhere. Um, this site earlier, I haven't said yet that there was a bit of a mess up this morning whereby um, me and one other bloke turned up at the same time and then I got sent away because we need to have half an hour between trucks. Um, which is why I'm doing it the other way around to everyone else. I'm doing the top tour first, then coming here. But yeah, we were getting loaded there, look. But apparently, there's a digger on the left. Yeah, there's one just there, look. Right, let's put my hazards on, put my beacons on. There's a digger driver there, he just put his thumb up, as if to say, follow me. Ooh, it does look a bit wet. Oh, it looks like sticky mud as well. Just keeping an eye out on vehicles. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, this stuff looks quite sticky. Not good because I'm delivering topsoil. Ah. I don't know how he's loading me. Is he loading me from the back or is he loading me on the side? I don't know. He's got his arm up. Oh, I think he wants to load me from the back, looking at where his arm is. Oh yeah, I can see now I can't go down the side of him anyway, so wait for the beep. There we go. Building some sort of trench or something. Don't know if you can see that. There we go. So, um, yeah, that's what we're getting loaded with now. Look, oh, look, there's some carbons over there. Oh. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've just driven all over this. From the road, it looked very wet. That mud is definitely not the cleanest. I'm looking at my mirrors, by the way. It's definitely not the cleanest mud. I can see some of that getting stuck when we tip it. Never mind, that's my problem, not yours. <laughs> um, so the plan now is to go get this tipped. Um, probably have to do a scrape out and then get reloaded with topsoil and then deliver back to where I just went um, just now. Uh, we've got to do five deliveries of each, so ten in total. This is load number two <laughs> from here. Yeah, this is my, uh, my second load from here, which will be my one, two, three, fourth one in total for the day. 
So ideally, I want to do two more deliveries before I have lunch, but mm, I don't know whether that's going to happen or not. We'll have to see. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm not going to film me tipping this on the quarry because um, there's not much point. You've seen that sort of stuff before, um, and you've seen the quarry before. So, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be doing something different. If not, then so be it. But we we will see. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are. Today. Handbrake. Today. <laughs> it's been, been a bit of a weird day. It's Friday. It's the third day of uh, of this vlog. Of course, the windows don't go up by themselves. Got a hold of them. Ah. Uh, yeah. Today's Friday. And I'm in a manual truck at the moment. It's only a six speed, it's nothing special. Um, but yeah, I'm in a manual truck because I'm basically the spare guy today. <laughs> um, it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, my truck, obviously, um, if you watch my, oh gosh, it's gonna be like t three vlogs ago now, three videos ago. Uh, I drove an Arctic. Um, I drove that uh, Arctic back from Scania because my truck went in for a uh, for an inspection. Well, this that was yesterday in terms of real life. I don't know in terms of when these vlogs are coming out, but um, did, that was Thursday yesterday. Next day, my vehicle is still uh, off the road. It's called VOR, vehicle off road. Um, basically, means it's. Uh, unsuitable to go on the road they've got to do something with it they found an issue so they've got to obviously sort it out this is daft so uh this morning i had to uh drive a scania eight wheeler uh i had to go get loaded with uh, a load of muck from the same place i was in um on one of my last vlogs <laughs> um it's so confusing because i don't know which when vlogs are coming out um i got that loaded and then i had to take that truck to scania well i was told by my office I need to get into this lane I was told by the office that um, I'm to wait with the truck and then um, wait with the Scania truck and then carry on with my day. That's that's what that's what the original plan was. But uh, it turns out that that particular Scania is uh, not going to be checked out until 20 to 1 or something. And it's only like half nine in the morning now. I wonder if I can put away in second gear. Sure, I can. Let's try it. So, yeah, I had to leave that and then I had to drive a work car back second gear pull away yeah I had to drive a work vehicle back to the yard work car and then from there I had to take uh, an Arctic another Arctic back to Scania again and uh, then I'm well now I'm driving this back <laughs> so I didn't know I was driving this back but um, I need to end the vlog because the, the video that this is on yeah, yeah, the video that this is on, this clip is on the video. So yes, earlier on in this video where I was uh, in Swindon, Ermine Street. That's where I had to go this morning. Anyway, long story short, today's a bit of a weird day. Um, I hadn't ended the vlog, so this is my ending of the vlog. <laughs> um, just driving this uh, six gear DAF. It is a DAF, by the way, I'm in. So, uh, and there's a high ab as well. There's a high ab on the back of me. I don't know if you can see it. So, um, yeah, obviously I'm not, I'm not trained to operate the high ab, but I do have a license to drive the truck. So I can drive the truck back to the yard, no problem at all. But it's a, it is a beast of a truck. And I don't mean that in a good way. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's got no power. <laughs> Put the foot down and it's like, it almost wants to go backwards instead. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna go on to the uh, A419. And then we uh, got to go back to the yard. No aircon in this, as you can probably imagine. And these are clean as well. I know that. It's pretty dirty in here. Very dirty. Sixth gear. <laughs> right, let's uh, crack on. Time it. Time it. Time it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Don't come to a stop. Yeah! <laughs> That's what you aim to do in a manual. Well, that's what you should aim to do in an auto as well, but not a lot of people do. In any lorry, you should uh, aim to go with the flow. So you don't have to stop. Keep going. I wonder if this is gonna struggle getting up the hill. Um, better man, I'm empty. 
I'm in fifth gear. We're still going up in revs. We're still going up in revs. Yeah, we're going to be alright. There's no point in overtaking him. I won't get past him. But he is going slow. Lovely jubbly. I'm really thirsty as well. I've got, I've got water on me, but I fancy like some coke. <laughs> too big to go in the shop. Well, I'm not too big to go in the shops. I just don't want to be taking a lorry into the uh, garage up here. I'd rather not. There's not a lot of space as it is. But yeah, it's really early in the day. Like It's only 20 to 10. And um, I've been in one, two, three, four different vehicles. Five different vehicles if you include my car and the works car. But three different lorries. <laughs> three different lorries before half nine. I wonder if I'm going to get sent in something else after this. Yeah, right, just double check the left mirror. Excellente. Thank you for waiting. <coughs> so yeah, in a manual gearbox look. I've um because this is the thing, I I passed my test in an automatic. Um my lorry license that is, I passed it in an automatic, but I did pass my car license in a manual. And the law states that if you pass your car test in a manual and your lorry license in an automatic, you can still drive a manual lorry. Um, now, that's good and bad. Uh, it's good because obviously then it gives me entitlement to drive a manual truck. It's bad because I've never driven anything more than a six gear gearbox, other than that one time I drove an American truck, which I think was four over four, I think, and then I had split gears as well. So I think it was like an 18 or something, I don't know. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I would I would have loved to have been around back in the day driving trucks when it was all manual gears. I would have I would have loved it. So the gear the, the uh, suspension on this truck is not as nice as the other trucks. Get in gear. I was, so, <laughs> I was so busy trying to get it in gear then I didn't have a spare hand to put the indicator on to the last minute. Luckily, there was nothing around. Yeah, so um, even though I've passed my, my uh, lorry license in an auto, I do have uh, permission uh, to drive a manual truck. But yeah, this truck definitely needs a cleaning here. It is minging. I've never seen this truck before, though, in the yard. Don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so yeah, this is the uh, the ending to the video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, a little bit more different, wasn't it? A little bit different. I'm trying different stuff with the uh, with the vlogs. So let me know whether you like them. I'm trying the different days and that, so you're not seeing the same places over and over again on a vlog. Something different. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.